net worth. I said this refers to the total wealth, wealth, okay, of an individual, company, or household, taking account of financial assets and liabilities. So, in other words, the value of all the assets that someone has. So, your financial assets could be maybe the cars. You have about 10 cars, okay? Um, your, your, your building is also your asset. And any other investment that you have, it could be your cash at the bank or any other investment. So, all of that, the total of that minus your liabilities. Maybe things that you owe. Maybe you owe your bank. You, you went for some loan. That becomes your liability. So, the netting, you know, becomes your net worth. That is your standing. All right? That is your weight. Okay. All right. So, let's move on. Number two, the highest mon monthly pension in Ghana is 186,777 point 58 that is what my check gave me and so if you have developed yourself and you have reached the apex and you are on pension how would you spend it you are home or cannot do anything he said, I'll give you this monthly. Can you spend all within a month? Maybe it depends. So it depends on the person's expenses. So that is huge. And the, the minimum is 400. So you see, you would have to work hard to get up there. And then finally, so who excites me? There's this lady, the second deputy governor of the central bank. Her name is Mrs. Elsie Ado Awaji. What is investment? What is investment? Investment, the act of putting money, effort, time, etc. into something to make a profit or get an advantage. It could be education, projects, an investment portfolio, stocks, bonds, etc. Now let's read, I want us to read Proverbs. Proverbs 6, 6 to 11. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. Number nine. Um, how long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Ten. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth. And thy want as an armed man. Let's move on. Let's look at human capital. Human capital consists of, number one, knowledge, skills, and health that people invest in and accumulate throughout their lives, enabling them to realize their potential as productive members of society. The primary role of human resource is to improve employee performance, which makes them, I mean, the, the overall company function better so that they can achieve organizational goals. So you realize that people, all right, employees are very, very important, okay, in an organization. Now, if it's so, if the human resource is very, very necessary or very important, what do you think employers would do or organizations? What do you think they would do? Let's talk, let's talk about the banks. Let's talk about 
um, public sectors, you know, insurance companies, what do you think they would do? Have you also considered why sometimes you are asked, right? some of us are working, right? When you, you, you go for interview, you are asked to go for medical tests. Because the human capital, the human or the employee is very, very important. They want to make sure that you are fit for the job. They don't want to be paying your hospital bills every time. You are weakling every time you are sick. No, they want to you know, sponsor you to go for training. When you come back, you'll be useful to the organization. All right? Personal development. Personal development is the effort you make to improve yourself and make yourself marketable. Okay? Personal development. Is it important? Yes, it is because the importance of personal development cannot be overstated as it allows individuals to become the best versions of themselves. 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7. Please, can we read that? 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7, please. Therefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Seven. For God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. And so we need to develop ourselves so that we, we, we can be employable. Please, do you get me? Uh -huh. If you don't, if you don't develop yourself, maybe in, in my time, um, when you complete O levels, hmm, at time it was secondary school, when you complete your O levels or A levels, they, you can be employed. Okay? Yeah. So as you are employed, you, you do not sit down there. If not, before you knew it, your, your grandchildren will all just come and bypass you in positions. You see? So you need to, as you are employed, you don't go to rest. Oh, I have some job. I, I earn salary, so I'm cool. No, you would have to strive. Hmm? Find out what you can do. If maybe uh, you did accounting in uh, all levels, a levels, you can pursue professional courses. Okay, if um, Pastor Nitaki is here, I would have asked him to maybe you give you some con consultancy. You know, he is a chartered accountant, ACCA. And in Ghana, we have CA. Yes, and when you charter to, you, you don't sleep there. You may want to become a fellow of the professional body. So there are a lot of things that you can do. Whether engineering, you strive to go to the apex or to the top. Now, let's see, how do you start? How do you start your professional or personal development? So you know what you started with, like I said. And so, by creating your own vision and goals, okay, Mega Carries, we have a vision. So you can develop one for yourself. That where do I want to be in the near future? And so as you do that, you, you can help to get to where you want to be personally or professionally with timelines, okay? Now let's move on. It can also, you can also take some short, short courses, maybe a month, six, six months, three months, one year, depending on your circumstance. And by so doing, your, your promotion is assured, all right? You'll be promoted, and then you'll be climbing your career ladder, little by little. It doesn't come suddenly, but hard work. You know, today you are an accountant. 
Tomorrow you are a senior accountant. Tomorrow you move on. You get to the managerial level and you move on and move on and move on. When the Lord gives you life, how, how would you get to the top or the apex? You may also think, plan financially. Would you want to assess some loan at the bank? Or perhaps your, your organization have prepared something for people who want to develop themselves so they can assist you all right, to go to school. Sometimes um, you have leave, leave with pay or leave without pay. Depending on the circumstances, you may apply for and then you move on, go to school. Go and train yourself and come back to be a blessing to your organization. All right? All right. So you may also want to maybe pursue a course in outside Ghana or locally, depending on your circumstances. So I, I have mentioned already that do you want to become a chartered accountant? You can consider ACCA, CA Ghana, CIMA, um, HR. Now all these you know, professional bodies are there, well established. And so whatever you do in the university, you may pursue you know, to the professional, all right? Then you can become a wonderful person. Amen. Let's bear in mind that life is full of unexpected circumstances and surprises that may have impact on your goals. So learn to embrace these challenges with prayer and don't be frustrated when your expectations are not met. Okay? I believe we are all Christians and as and when challenges come, we don't sleep. We pray. We battle it with the Lord in prayer. I want to tell you a, a little bit about myself, a little story. In my first season, I had, you know, those days, I told you that you could work with your O-levels, A-levels. So at age 23, I have started work. So um, I met this guy at the workplace, and he said, I say you are young, you are beautiful. Why are you working at this age? Go back to school. So I said, okay, I, I, I've heard. Every time he sees me, he say, I said, go back to school. Oh, you, you can go back to school. Oh. I'm telling you, go and learn. <laughs> I'll just listen. And tell him, oh, Achina may see me now. I'll go tomorrow. I'll go next year. I'll go that. All right. So he had, you know, learned. We all joined, you know, the, the civil service. But he had chatted. And so I think he, he saw some potential in me and said, Madam, go to school. I said, okay. So I was planning. And then I got married at age 27. And so I have moved to the second season, right? Do, do you remember? Do you remember the four seasons? All right. So I had jumped 27 into the second season. So I, I raised my children, did all that I could do. I was still working. Then I had the opportunity now to go to school. And so at this point, I was running, if not galloping. Giddy, 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 giddy. I have to learn. I have to get my first degree. By God's grace, I went through that. Then another friend came, said, you have finished with this one. Let's move on, though. Let's go. Then we took it. Giddy, 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 giddy. I took the second one, too. And I, was, I thought I was okay. <laughs> then a friend also saw me again. I said, ah, but with this, your second degree, you can chat out. You can do professional course. I said, hey, that thing I hear is tough. Oh. Me, I don't want to stress myself. I said, no, it is not tough. Once you start, you end. So we started. I was just moving, 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 moving with the speed. And then 
<laughs> Something happened along the way. When I got to the finals, I had health challenges, so I couldn't continue the, the course because it was so stressful. You need time to study and to pass. Professional courses are tough. You don't joke with them. And so, if you are young at this age, I have had people whom have just gone through like that. Today, they are chartered accountants. Some will call me, Auntie Susie, I'm done. Please come to my graduation. I go and I'm happy for them. You see, I told you that in this life, sometimes things happen. But when they come, when the unexpected come, circumstances come your way, you, you don't be frustrated, okay? Pray to God. God has another way, perhaps, for you. And so, if I had not also gone through this discipline, maybe I wouldn't be standing here telling you the story. Amen. And so, I'm not the only one talking tonight. Auntie Vivian is here. She would also want to tell you some of the investment products in the bank that you can also look at and get some money and invest in so that your, your money can work for you. God bless you. 